Hey there. In the last video, we put together a pretty decent PDF merger that allowed us to merge as many PDFs together as we wanted, but it had one big issue. If you wanted to change the order of your PDFs, you'd have to delete them and then re-add them in the correct order, which is a bit of a pain since everybody's used to being able to just click, drag, and drop items into whatever order they'd like. So I have no idea how to do that, and like usual, head over to Google, and let's just say, so we want tkinter, oops, and we wanted to have a drag drop list box. And here's a stack overflow post. Look down, and this looks pretty good. Looks pretty straightforward. So we're just gonna copy this. And like our uh, PDF merger library that we made, let's make another one that we can just call drag drop dot pi and paste everything into here. Whoops, I just pasted it all into the command line, so that was a not what we wanted. Um, okay, clear that. <laughs> and uh, let's take a look at what we have here. So this is written for Python 2. Uh, you can tell by the capital TK enter. And uh, so we're going to change that. Let's, uh, from our regular TK enter, let's import all, do it the, the bad way so that we can get rid of all of these. And one more. Okay. Uh, looking at it real quick, you can see that we have this new class, drag drop list box, that inherits from list box. So it contains everything that our regular list box has, plus these extra things here. So we bind a set current function to button one, which is our left mouse button, the regular one you click. And we set this shift selection to button one with motion. So if we click and then move while we're holding down the uh, button. And then we uh, set this current index also. So let's look at set current, uh, set current index equals nearest event y, which is pretty similar to what we have been doing. Um, so we'll leave that as it is, but we'll use our regular current selection method uh, that we used earlier. And then for shift selection, this is actually going to find the next item. So if you click and move up, it's going to find the next index above and it's actually going to delete that index and then insert it one behind. So you'll be deleting items as you move the one you've clicked out of the way. And that works for going up and going down. We're going to do it a little bit different, um, actually backwards, because while this handles the list box, we need to handle our PDF list. So let's go ahead and when we initialize this, we can add an extra parameter called list and let's set that as a class property that we're just going to call self.list equals list. So now we can call it there and let's add some things. So after we set this first kind of index thing, we're going to make something called PDF index and we'll just set that to our current selection like we've been doing just like that. So that should be a little familiar. And then using that, we can create our PDF object. So what we'll do is instead of deleting the item next to the one that we want to move, we're going to delete the one we want to move and then reinsert it. So maybe a little confusing to do it like immediately next to like two different ways to do the same thing, basically. But we won't worry about that too much. So we'll delete it out of the list box and we can delete it out of our list, too using pop and reinsert it just like we're going to reinsert it except now we'll do a PDF and minus one to move it up and that is what we're going to place in there and just to keep ourselves sane, we can put a little loop after each time we do this. Just as a way to um, see the order. We're going to see the list box in front of us, but we want to see what our actual list looks like. And whoops, I want to do the display name. There we go. Okay, let's do the same thing down here. I can actually just copy and paste most of this because 
since we're doing a lot of the same things. Oops. So now this will be plus one and the same loop down here. Okay, that should be all we need here. So let's save this, go to our main script, and now we can import from drag drop, grab everything. And if we go down, we have our list box, which is still just a regular list box. So now we'll just make it a drag drop list box, which requires an extra parameter. So we'll pass in PDF list to get that list there. And assuming I didn't make any typos, uh, going through that, we should now, this is going to be, let's try to uh, run this. Okay, that's a good sign. It worked so far. So let's just add a couple documents here. Um, I added two more documents, three and four, that literally just have um, document three and document four in them. So just so we can see the order here. Now we should be able to click on one of these and then move them and then it should print that new order. So now it's one, two, four, three, which we'll click it matches up here. And let's bring page four to the first part and uh, let's see if we can do these backwards now. So we should have document four, document three, and then a three page document and a two page document. So let's save that as uh, backwards maybe. Save. No errors, maybe a good sign. <laughs> Let's open up backwards. Fourth document, document three, spelled wrong. Page one of three, two of three, three of three, and then one of two, and two of two. So that works. And basically only took uh, a little bit from Stack Overflow, some minor modifications, and we've got a little bit more user-friendly uh, PDF merger. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.